Hello again, Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and today I'd like to take you on a really quick tour of my small biz theme and this, the SEO or search engine optimization features that I've built into it. So one of the things you know that, that I really was careful to build into this theme was were what I call local SEO features. Worked with hundreds of small businesses, helping them um, get good rankings in the local search results in Google and Yahoo and Bing, and so I built those things into this theme. One of the things you'll notice is that the address, the business name address and phone number is on every page of the site. So that's an important thing to do um, for SEO, especially for local SEO, because Google and Yahoo and, and the different uh, search engines are looking for signals saying, hey, that this website is related to the business. And um, they use the name, business name, address and phone number as sort of like the primary key for your business. So it's important to indicate that on the pages of your site. The other thing is, these areas serve, if you look toward the bottom here, I've got an area, and I'll show you where you can update this, where you can add different areas like nearby cities or neighborhoods that your business serves as well. So let's kind of go behind the scenes here and take a look. If I go back into my WordPress dashboard and I go to the Small Biz Options panel, this is like your control panel where you can change all of the options about your business, your business name and address, phone number, business hours, email address you want to be contacted at, um, putting in your Google map on the site, um, selecting a header background. One of the things you're gonna notice, I won't go through all these, but if I scroll down, you'll see that I can set a specific homepage title and also homepage description and, uh, and keywords. Obviously, I can also put my Google Analytics code in here. What we're focused on right now are these SEO things. So. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of put those in so you see when we go take a look at the website, you'll see that the title and description, and these are very important things for a um, for search engine optimization, okay? So for example, if I go do a search for Sunnyvale Chiropractor, if I can type, you'll see that there's a number, um, here's, here's one of my clients, if you take a look at this website, this is the title tag, okay? And then this is the description that shows up, the meta description. So the things that we just looked at here, that's what's gonna show up in the Google search result and also needs to contain the keywords that you're, that you're trying to rank for. So this allows you to set those however you want for the home page of the site, okay? So when I go back to the home page of the site and I do a refresh and I take a look at the title tag up in the top of the browser here, you'll see that it's what I entered in. So obviously I wouldn't put my business, I would put you know, some of the keywords associated with, with uh, my, the search results I was after. But that information is set in there and it's also set behind the scenes in the meta description. Now, the other thing that you will want to do is on individual posts or pages on your site, you can set the actual meta um, description and title there too. So for example, I wanted to change the about page. Go into the about page and edit this. Now, let's just say that, um, you know, I wanted, the way this is gonna work is it's going to use your title here as the title up in your browser bar, okay? And this is the title we talked about earlier. But the Expand Web Small Biz theme adds this, this section right here called SEO details. And here I can put in my own title and my own description. And I'm just gonna type something so you can see it. And now what's gonna happen is it can override on a page by page or post by post basis, I can put whatever I want in there. I can optimize these pages for the keywords that I want. And that's something that I typically do is I make sure that I have you know, a page for a small business for you know, each of the services they offer or each of the locations that they serve and those are optimized for certain keywords. So if I go back and I view this page, you're gonna see that I've got a um, very specific title in there now, which is really good for, for me to, to be able to do. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is on these pages is this, what's called microformats. Now, these are things, the, the microformats are basically just kind of code in, that's built into the web page that Google is now crawling. For the past few months, they're looking for these. Yahoo's been crawling them for over a year. And when they look at a web page, they look for certain um, microformats. And if they exist, then they'll pull them out. Now, I've got what's called an H card or V card microformat for. Um, the business is built right in here. So once you enter your business address, I'm gonna go and, and show you 
I'll validate this microformat code using this tool that says, hey, now I understand completely, you know, this has no errors and I can see that there's a business address here, a business email, a business telephone number, and all that information is baked right into the page. So that's another thing that you want to make sure to do. Um, and basically this is, happens automatically for you with the theme. Okay, now in addition to that, you have all of the WordPress benefits for SEO. And even Google has come out saying that WordPress is a great platform for SEO. It allows you to update your site more frequently. Um, it automatically pings the search engines when you, when you publish a new post or a page. It allows you to set up a good site structure and all the other things that, that WordPress does. So that's it. I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of the SEO features in the Small Biz theme. And I hope, uh, I hope that that's helpful. Please leave me comments below and, and rate my video. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.